So why are the Northern Lights green? And why do they happen in the first place? It starts with the sun, which gives off solar wind. Electrically charged particles travel 93 million miles towards Earth, and then the Earth's magnetic field typically deflects 98% of those charged particles. But that remaining 2% are drawn towards the magnetic north and south poles, which is why we get the northern and southern lights. The charged particles then hit the atoms and molecules in the Earth's atmosphere, getting them all excited, causing them to glow. Just like in this plasma ball, the electrode in the centre gives off an electric current, like the sun gives off solar wind. Inside the ball is a gas representing the Earth's atmosphere. When the current goes through the gas, it causes it to glow. The colour of the northern lights and the colour of the plasma ball depend on which molecules the charged particles hit. The most common colour we see in the northern lights is green. We get green because the charged particles are hitting oxygen atoms. Our plasma ball contains nitrogen, which is why we get this pink. Although astronauts can see the Northern Lights from the International Space Station, they often say they miss the colour green. And that's because colour and emotion are connected. Just like when we say we're feeling blue. Green reminds us of nature, which is something the astronauts don't really get to enjoy when on the ISS because they're surrounded by all this machinery and the black of space. Astronauts do get to see the Earth from space, but they mainly see blue. They call it the blue marble. Being out in nature can really change your mood. Having a look round at the different colours of green and the blue of the sky, so next time you're out, why not have a look and see what colours you can spot.